we got a shot at a great, great season. Maybe the greatest season ever at Georgia. Third and eight. Green off the play. Bed, Deep Edwards. Touchdown. Those are number one. Born the dog time, dog. No, no. Those night games are hard because you wait all day for it, you know? It's one of those blows to the gut where you, know, you feel like all the wind has left your sail. Two-point conversion try. Pumps it. He may run. He is. Two points, Florida. It's probably the worst I've ever felt after a game. We had so much on the line with, I mean, the SEC championship on the line and just being Florida. It was, well, after the game, it was a lot of disappointment, really. You know, a lot of the guys just, Played this game for quite some time now. We'll never have another opportunity to beat Florida. But you know, with that said, we came back here to realize that you know we can put that behind us and, and go ahead and start looking forward to uh, Ole Miss. we set out at the beginning of the season still there and that's the one thing it'll they'll keep bringing up today to me because man it's still there it's still there we still can be SEC champs and we're in control of that good job Sean. good job baby he's always there for any kind of support no matter what you can always go talk to coach van and he's one of those coaches where he's not going to breathe down your neck he just encourages you and he makes you want to you know work Hey, cheese. Ah, what's up, man? Monday nights, we do family night. I mean, we, so Amber and Khalil, they get to come also, and, you know, they, that's the thing I always thank Coach Rick for, but just making, you know, my family feel welcome as well as everybody else's. And plus, they, you know, the guys on the team, they, they love my situation to death and love her to death and Khalil to death. It's always good to get away and, and you know, see people in different environments. It's, it's a chance for you to get to know your teammates more. And, and when you get to know your teammates more than just being a great football player as a great person, then the love is stronger and you want to play for them that much, that much harder. He's open. He's open. Throw it. Oh. Come on. One, two, three. We've tried to work them extremely hard and uh, just let them understand that if they put forth the right amount of effort, uh, then they're going to have their very best chance to succeed. They also know if we don't get prepared this week, we don't get beat again. It's cold out here. We well, can see your breath. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> but we're going to get better, though. We're 8 1. You know, we're still in control of the East right now. And, you know, if we went out the next two weeks, you know, we're SEC, you know, the East champs, and, you know, it puts us in the you know, SEC championship game, and that's one of our goals, and it can still be reached. George has been blessed with uh, some families that have brothers, that uh, the, the first brothers that came in had tremendous impact on the program. All of them end up in the NFL and are, are great players in the NFL. And then all of a sudden their brothers come along and 
every single one of these guys um, have had a great impact on our program. I mean, Boss Bailey, Stenchcomb, Edwards, those are three of the top leaders on our football team. For me, following, following someone like Matt, who accomplished so many goals, it, it was just a, a great goal for myself to, to model you know, some of the things that I did after, after the way he approached college football. Toss sweep to Edwards, no blocking, but he got He had a great career here. Uh, I came up and watched every game, and knowing that I was headed in the same direction, I knew that I had to come in and, and play well and live up to the Elkwood's name. That last game let me know that he was not coming back. It was an emotional time for the both of us because we never knew we'd ever get to play each other again. So we just go out and do our own thing and, you know, just support each other more than anything. They're three of the top producers on our football team, and when those guys are gone, we're gonna, we're gonna miss them. It's easy for people to, uh, to criticize when they're, when they're not, when they've never really stuck their neck out on anything before. And those are usually the ones that criticize the most, the ones that have been uh, in a leadership position or the ones that have been uh, in a situation where you gotta kinda stick your neck out, there's a chance for failure. You got David Green and DJ Shockley. You got two outstanding college quarterbacks. They're exactly what you're looking for. They're extremely coachable. They love Georgia. You know, these guys need to be playing, both of them. And the team believes in both of them. I think that we can do this thing in a way that will help us win. And I, and I think we have so far this year. You know, the quarterbacks, you guys flip flop. Were you a little upset, though, this time when Shockley came in after the touchdown drive? No, it didn't, it didn't affect me. You know, I mean, it was really no, no different than a Kentucky game. Um, you know, we went down to field and scored, and then, um, you know, coach put DJ in, and so yeah, it didn't, it didn't affect me. Me and David could be brothers. I mean, it's, I mean, we had one of the best relationships. I mean, on the team. You know, we're just 20, 21 year old kids that just go out here and just love to play football. Um, you know, we're competitive, and you know, but also we're great friends. I think we've done a pretty good job of shaking off the loss. Looking at. Ole Miss, they'll get your attention in a hurry. They they beat the team that just beat us. And um, Manning is, everybody knows about Manning. Eli is uh, very much like his brother was as far as um, tremendous fundamentals. Understands the game extremely well. Is, a, is nearly perfect on his decision making. He's very accurate. We've, re we've really got our work cut out for us. I mean, I mean, he might be the best we faced this year, and the guy's smart. You can tell he studied the game, and you know, we're just gonna have to try to keep him mixed up and try to keep him off balance a little bit. Georgia always seemed to be the perfect fit for me. I love the football program. It's also a, a, a great academic institution, which is you know, one of the things that I was looking for. And, and I love the campus. So it really had uh, almost everything that I was looking for in a, in a school. Okay. I'll tell you what. Okay? Yeah, the camera on him is unbelievable. Keep it up, keep it up. Good. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah, we took Two for two. <laughs> two for two. Let's change it up. All over. Colt Bobcat. All over. Colt Bobcat. Joe's got it. Joe's got it. Here we go. Hell, pass 44 dip on green. Okay, very good. Now we're going to go R pass 44 demon. R pass 44 demon on shock. On DJ. Here we go. Okay, very good. 
Hey, so good to see you there, Terrence. Yeah, it's so good to see you. Where you been? Sir? Where you been? Class. All right, get yourself loose. Well, it's the last home game of an SEC opponent. And uh, I mentioned that to the seniors earlier in the week. And uh, you could see some of them looking around like, you know, the end is near, isn't it? It's a must win. I mean, it's either this one or, I mean, no SEC championship game. I mean, that's our goal. And, and we're not, you know, ashamed to say that. So, I mean, we got to go in. It's the last one. We're going to be pumped up. And we have to go in fighting to win this one. That's their main focal point now. Play Mississippi, give them the best shot you got them, beat them, and then I think that's what they're excited about right now. Last home game against the Southeastern Conference opponent. All right, you got to take some pride in that. All right, we got to finish the drill strong. We go 8-0, everybody gets excited, and we finish out and don't have a great finish. We don't finish the drill. It's going to be, it's just going to be miserable. But if we finish strong like we've been working on, Mat drills and two days and all those things, but we got a shot at a great, great season. Maybe the greatest season ever in Georgia. One, two, three, seven. extremely important. Uh, I'd rate my faith number one and then my family number two and then my job number three as far as my priorities in my life. Of course they got to make their beds and got to bring their dirty clothes down. Got them trained pretty good and then they get down there to eat. What kind of soup? Vegetable beef. We adopted two children. Uh, Zach who's now six and Anya who's five. And they're both in kindergarten. Basically Catherine and I were uh, involved in a Sunday school with some people had, who had already adopted some children from Ukraine. And that's kind of what got the ball rolling for us to thinking about go ahead and adopting a couple children. Load them up, rag arms. Let's go. Just give me the light and pass the drugs. We're going to do it right because we're together. We're a family. We had a chance last week to do that in the locker room. You know, we lost the game. A bitter loss, but everybody stayed together. Everybody was broken, everybody hurt, but no one was pointing fingers. You know, we have a character education program that we do with the freshmen. Instead of being reactive when something happens, we're trying to be proactive. Because, like I said, as you're a University of Georgia football player, everybody in the state knows you. So if your name gets in the paper for doing something wrong, then, man, it embarrasses you, your family, and this whole state and our football team. So the one thing we try to do is we, we want to talk about issues. We want to talk about things that they're going to deal with as college football players and college students. One, two, three. Talented players have been in the program since I've been here, but we haven't had this togetherness like we have now. Um, I believe every guy on this team will fight for the next guy who's lining up behind them. That's the way we feel right now. Hey, fall back. Let's go, let's go. The guys on this team truly care about one another. You know, we, we go out there and we play for each other. It's not a selfish atmosphere. It's not like we're playing as individuals. We, we, we go out there and we play as a team and, and you can see that. You know, we play for 60 minutes and, and, and try to finish for one another. One, two, three, two. Thank you for uh, having good people balls and them to bring us together, you know, feed us real well. Thank you for good friends and good fellowship in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Did your lady put me in front of you? I ain't even turned Just coming together, you know, guys I go to war with every day and just sit down and have a good time, kind of relax and chill out. So it's a good thing. <laughs> Can you shake it out like that, or you need me to fill up? It'll be all right. Oh, you got to take it back. Oh, I knew you were going there. I just felt it, too. You fell down? You fell down? Oh, it's, I mean, it's wonderful. I'm loving every minute of it. And I mean, I'm not, you know, going to sit here and say it's not tough, but I mean, my wife and I, we, 
He just tried to keep things simple, you know, and just try to stay, you know, with a strict schedule and everything with Khalil and everything. So, I mean, we, we make it pretty easy. Yeah, we go out there every week and we expect to win, but, but you're going to lose. It happens and it comes with it. But, you know, we, we still control our own destiny and, and we can still make our dreams come true that we want to. And, you know, we're still talking about we want to ring. And um, I think that's the unique thing. All of us just walk around in the locker room saying, you know, we still got a chance to get a ring. And it's about the team around here. It's not about any individuals. It's all about the team. been doing it for the past 20 years. Uh, we take great pride in that, and uh, it's been a tradition uh, with Georgia football and Pinecrest Lodge that, uh, that, we're, that we're very proud of. Uga six, face only a mother would love. Actually, Uga one uh, was uh, around in 58, so there's been a Uga longer than there's been me. Dogs are still number one. Dogs are still, still number one. There's a lot of great tradition, but the dog walk to me has been the most fun and the thing that gets me inside the most. And then every time I go through there, I get goosebumps and I get a little tear in my eye and they're just yelling and screaming and it just really pumps our kids up. Crazy, isn't it? It's a good way to get the game started, ain't it? I've been in football a long time, you know, and never had a, never have lost any of the goosebumps, you know, that you get from a night game, from a big time college football game like it is tonight. It's unbelievable. It's exciting. Doesn't get much better than this now. That dog walk, baby. You. Mississippi. Well, 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 Bill. Watch out, Georgia Bulldogs. Jog it over, D. We'll better turn it around. Turn it around now. Let's go. Turn it around next time. Turn it around. Turn it around. Come on, baby. Block this thing, baby. Get it, boys. Make seven straight. No! 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 And they come after it. Blitz is picked up. That was intercepted. It is right in Tim Jennings' hands. Foot race. Manning the only hope. No hope at all. Touchdown. 64 yards. Bench press 335, and he's running them back, baby. Good job, Robert. Good play. Come on, D. That 
to Turner for the leap touchdown. Tremaine Turner. Well, that was rough. He never made it. He never made it. He didn't make it in. He didn't make it in. Last year, redshirted with uh, shoulder requiring surgery. Green football. There it is, Pete. There it is. He hit him. Yeah. Greeny got hit. Greeny got hit, T. Greeny got hit. That's why I threw it like that. And Ole Miss again coming after Green. Hits him with the pass. Spins away for a touchdown. Well, that was pretty, wasn't it, baby? <laughs> we keep going. We picked up the blitz. Bing. Good job, Greeny. Great job, Greeny. Hey, Musa, way to run, baby. Third and eight. Green off the play pick. Deep Edwards. Touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. They love him now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Way to go, Terrence. That's beautiful, Terrence. They make some magic happen, Pollock. It's your time right now, baby. Way to go, Pollock. Job, you Captain Sully. Way to go, Pollock. Way to go, baby. Good job, Pollock. You'll hear me, buddy. Manning. Manning deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Underthrown and intercepted by Bruce Thornton. Bruce, that's big time, Bruce. That's big time, Bruce. Great job, baby. That'll be the final play of the ball game. Your final score, Georgia 31. First coach, Bruce 17. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attendance at tonight's game. Please check around your seats for valuables. Drive very carefully on your way home tonight. All right, now, we, we put ourselves back in position that we wanted to be in. We got another shot. We got another, not very often you lose a game of the magnitude of last week and never have to change your goals. Our goals haven't changed. They don't have to change. We got a wonderful opportunity for a second chance. It's rare, rare, rare that you get a second chance to get your ultimate goal. All right? It's always fun when you win. It is great to get that nasty taste out of our mouth that we, you know, we've had. Week, and, uh, <laughs> you know, just, just glad to get a victory. Father, I pray that you give them the power and the energy to get the job done this week. We love you. We praise your son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.